SK St. Petersburg facing off against Donbass. SK lost their last game to Dynamo Riga in dramatic fashion, and they're looking for some redemption. And here it is. Ilya Kovalchuk sets up Igor Makarov, and it's 1-0 SKA. And six and a half minutes later, Vladimir Tarasenko gets the puck in the neutral zone, walks in, winds up, and beats Eric Erzberg. 2-0 SKA. Wait a second, how is this not offside? Shut up and watch, it's a pretty goal. Late in the first, Kevin Dahlman scores his eighth of the season on the power play, 3-0 SKA after the first. Tarasenko and Kovalchuk was a system this play too. And you know things are out of hand when the fans bust out the wave at the hockey game. Dimitri Berezin replaced Erzberg in goal for Donbass, but SKA could care less. Here's Alex Kucherovenko with goal number four for the home team. But Donbass gets a break late in the second, already 4-1. Evgeny Balukin makes it 4-2, there's still hope. Um, no, there's none. Yeah, you're right. SK strikes again and again and again. Gleb Klemenko makes it 5-2. Anton Berdasov scores his third of the season, and now it's 6-2. And Kucherovenko nets his second of the night. We're all the way up to 7-2 SKA. Then this happens. Kucherovenko and Klemenko set up Igor Makarov, and he pulls this rabbit out of his hat. Filthy 8-2. Makarov topped the goals of the week chart last week. I wouldn't rule him out from the next edition. Could be. The onslaught finally ends here as Tony Martinson nets SKA's ninth goal of the night and Donbass can finally go home. It looks like St. Petersburg is on the power play in this goal, but they aren't. We're witnessing a complete lack of effort in the final minute by Donbass. But hey, can you blame them? Also, you may think the game was all about SKA, but the truth is Donbass outshot them 39-36. to It was really just offense beating offense. 37 saves for Sergei Bobrovsky too. 9-2 SKA final.